Welcome to Public Health IT, Unit 3. In this unit, we will be discussing interoperability standards in public health IT. The learning objectives for the interoperability standards in public health IT unit are 1. Explain and describe the meaningful use and MIPS Advancing Care Public Health Objective. 2. Describe the public health engagement process required for meaningful use compliance. 3. Know the ONC certified capabilities of EHRs that support public health capabilities. And 4. List and discuss the public health IT standards used for meaningful use and MIPS Advancing Care Public Health Objectives, or referred to in the ONC Standards Advisory. This lecture will focus on the specific certification capabilities of ONC Certified Health Information Technology, as well as on the interoperability standards for public health are used to develop these capabilities. You may recall that the Meaningful Use and MIPS programs require that Certified Health Information Technology be used. For Modified Stage 2, ONC 2014 Certified Technology is required. For Meaningful Use Stage 3 and MIPS, ONC 2015 Certified Technology is required. Vendors obtain ONC 2014 or ONC 2015 certification for specific standards-based electronic public health reporting capabilities as part of the certification process. The next slides discuss the certifications that vendors can obtain for public health reporting capabilities. ONC 2014 certification capabilities for public reporting health included transmission to immunization registries, transmission to public health agencies, syndromic surveillance, inpatient setting only, transmission of reportable laboratory tests and values, results, optional ambulatory setting only, cancer case information, and optional ambulatory setting only, transmission to cancer registries. The National Institute for Standards and Testing, or NIST, provided test methods for each of these capabilities and called out data standards that were required. ONC 2015 certified systems can be certified to have the following public health capabilities. Transmission to immunization registries. Transmission to public health agencies. Syndromic surveillance. Transmission of reportable laboratory tests and values results. Transmission to cancer registries. Transmission to public health agencies. Electronic case reporting. Transmission to public health agencies antimicrobial use and resistance reporting, and transmission to public health agencies, healthcare surveys. Each of these has interoperability standards associated with them, with the exception of electronic case reporting. As of August 2016, a specific standard has not yet been named for electronic case reporting, although HL7-CDA or hl 7 Fire are both discussed as possible options in the Certification Testing Guide. Let's look at the rest of the certified capabilities for ONC 2014 and 2015 and observe the standards required. Meaningful Use Stage 2 and Modified Stage 2 requires the use of ONC 2014 certified systems. Meaningful Use Stage 3, as well as other programs, such as the Merit Incentive Program System, or MIPS, requires ONC 2015 certified systems. Both include the capability for immunizations to be recorded on EHRs and then transmitted to a public health authority. ONC 2015 adds a new capability. It enables a user to request access and display a patient's evaluated immunization history and the immunization forecast from an immunization registry using required standards. The standard used is the HL7 version 2.5.1 Implementation Guide for Immunization Messaging. This picture shows two EHRs communicating with an Immunization Information System, or IIS. The IIS is most likely the public health authority. Using ONC 2014 certified functionality, EHRs were only able to send immunizations. 
The IIS would be the only system with a complete picture of a person's immunization history over time, if the person was seen at multiple locations. This is shown with an EHR A sending an immunization to the IIS. Note that it is using the VXU, or Unsolicited Vaccination Update message, to send the immunization information. With ONC 2015 certified technology, an EHR can first query for a complete history of a patient's immunizations and even a forecast of what immunizations will be required using the HL7QBP message. The IIS responds with the history and forecast using the RSP message. Then, the clinician is able to have a full picture of the patient's immunization records as he or she makes immunization decisions. If the clinician then immunizes the patient, a VXU message would be sent to notify the IIS of the new immunization administration. The data flow between EHRB and the IIS depict this scenario. ONC certification requires that standards are used to communicate immunization information between systems. The standard for the immunization messaging is HL7 version 2.5.1. In specific, the HL7 version 2.5.1 implementation guide for immunization messaging. Standard code systems are used to represent the type of immunization being communicated. For ONC 2014 certification, HL7CXV was used. For ONC 2015 certification, HL7CVX can still be used for historical immunizations. However, to communicate about newly administered immunizations, NDC codes are now required. Madeline Snow received the flu vaccination. The doctor recorded the vaccination on the EHR. The EHR then creates a message containing the vaccination information and sends it to the Immunization Information System, or rather the local public health authority of the vaccination. This slide shows the message that might be created. The message is formatted according to the HL7 version 2.5.1 implementation guide for immunization messaging and uses the HL7 message type VXU, which stands for Unsolicited Vaccination Update. The code for the vaccination is from the National Drug Code System, or NDC. The code is 3332-111-01 for influenza, seasonal, injectable, preservative-free. ONC 2014 and ONC 2015 both include the capability for syndromic surveillance information to be formatted in a standard format and transmitted to a public health authority. The standard specification is published by the Center for Disease Control Public Health Information Network, or FIN. That's why the specification is called the FIN Messaging Guide. The standard used is the Public Health Information Network, or FIN Guide for Syndromic Surveillance which uses HL7 version 2 patient administration messaging. This diagram shows a sick patient visiting the hospital. A message is generated with information about the visit, including information about the reason for the visit, and sent to the local public health authority. The public health authority is notified of all inpatient admissions with the HL7 A01 message, all emergency and urgent care visits with the A04 message, all discharges with the HL7A03 message and updates to information of interest for syndromic surveillance with the HL7A08 message. Imagine a child is brought into an urgent care center with a fever, cough, and earache, and the doctor diagnoses influenza. A message is generated signaling that the visit occurred and provides de-identified information about the patient, as well as information about the reason why they visited the urgent care center, and information about the condition. The message is formatted according to the FIN Messaging Guide for Syndromic Surveillance. Both ONC 2014 and ONC 2015 include the capability for hospital systems to reportable laboratory tests and values results for electronic transmission using required standards. The functionality and standards are the same for both editions of certified technology.
They use the HL7 version 2.5.1 Implementation Guide, Electronic Laboratory Reporting to Public Health, Release 1, U.S. Realm Specification. The standard used is the HL7 version 2.5.1 Implementation Guide, Electronic Laboratory Reporting to Public Health, Release 1, U.S. Realm, which uses HL7 version 2 lab result messaging. Imagine an inpatient at the hospital has lab tests done for reportable results and has an abnormal result. Examples of reportable results include infectious diseases. A message is generated with information about the abnormal lab result and formatted as an HL7 ORU message as specified in the standard. It is then sent to the public health authority. Carol Cadiz had a blood test for cadmium level in her blood. The results came back as an abnormally high value. The local public health authority is collecting all instances of abnormal levels of heavy metals in blood work. Since the local health authority has requested that abnormal values for this test be reported, a message is formatted according to the HL7 version 2.5.1 Implementation Guide, Electronic Laboratory Reporting to Public Health, Release 1, U.S. Realm, and sent to the local public health authority. As of 2016, there is no standard implementation guide for electronic case reporting named in the ONC 2015 regulation or in the ONC Standards Advisory. However, HL7 has standards in this area that it is continuing to improve. ONC 2015 certified systems can be certified to electronically report healthcare survey, antimicrobial use resistance, and cancer case information to specialized registries. Each uses an implementation of the HL7 Clinical Document Architecture, or CDA. Healthcare Surveys Reporting uses the HL7 Implementation Guide for CDA Release 2. National Healthcare Surveys, NHCS Release 1, U.S. Realm, Draft Standard for Trial Use. Antimicrobial Use Resistance Reporting uses the HL7 Implementation Guide for CDA Release 2, Level 3, Healthcare Associated Infection Reports, Release 1, U.S. Realm, and finally, Cancer Transmission to Cancer Registries uses HL7 Implementation Guide for CDA Release 2, Reporting to Public Health Cancer Registries from Ambulatory Healthcare Providers, Release 1, DSTU, Release 1.1. What if a provider or hospital wants to attest to being in active engagement with a public health or clinical data registry, but there is not a certified EHR capability in ONC 2014 or ONC 2015 certification to support that data type? For example, a registry that keeps track of deaths and reasons for death does not have a related certified capability to communicate this information in ONC 2014 or ONC 2015 certification. In this and other cases, the hospital or provider can implement the interoperability without using a certified function. However, they are advised to use standards whenever possible. For example, if you are implementing public health reporting to a death registry, HL7 provides a standard implementation guide that could be used for this purpose, called the HL7 version 2.5.1 Implementation Guide, Vital Records Death Reporting, Release 1. If the regulations do not name a specific standard, you should refer to the current ONC Standards Advisory to find the best standard for the public health reporting you are trying to do. HL7 is the primary developer of public health interoperability standards. You can check their standards pages and look under the public health category. Also, it is smart to ask for guidance on standards selection. You can ask the ONC Systems and Interoperability Framework and the HL7 Public Health and Emergency Response Workgroup for advice. ONC 2014 and ONC 2015 Certified Systems provide several public health reporting capabilities. Vendors are certified to provide standards-based EHR electronic reporting capabilities to communicate with public health authorities and clinical data registries. 
Certified functions use HL7 standards to electronically report immunizations, syndromic surveillance, reportable results, notifiable conditions, cancer cases, healthcare associated infections, and cancer cases. Hospitals and providers can implement electronic reporting to other types of registries that certified health IT does not support, but should make sure they still use standards. The EHR Incentive Program and the Merit Incentive Payment System Program include an objective for electronic public health reporting. There are numerous public types of public health data that can be communicated, such as immunizations, syndromic surveillance, reportable lab results, case reporting, and registry reporting. ONC certified systems use public health specific interoperability standards to provide public health interoperability capabilities.